favorite time of the week again. The only segment in boxing that gives you the facts and makes you laugh. It's Clapback Thursdays. Okay, today on a special episode, Professor De La Hoya here to educate bitter, broke, retired fighters who think it's okay to slander my company's name without any repercussions. Over the last few months, it has become popular for retired fighters to clout chase by alleging that I somehow screwed them over decades ago when they fought for Golden Boy. Woo! Most recently, Juan Manuel Marquez went on a podcast where he bitched and cried that I took 20% of his pay-per-view purse from the Pacquiao fight in 2012. Juan, you moron. You negotiated that contract with your own promoter and lawyer and you signed it. You agreed to it all on paper. Plus, 20% of a pay-per-view purse is the standard amount for a promoter to be paid. Do you think I'm, what, I should have worked for free? And what makes this worse is that before you were a boxer, you were an accountant, but you still couldn't handle your own finances. Listen, dude, I'm sorry you're broke, but how you spend your money is not my problem. I have always paid everyone exactly what they are contracted and entitled to. It's why I've been in business for more than 20 years. Juan, let's be honest. You only said this because you heard Canelo defame me at the press conference in May. Remember that? I'm sorry, Juan. I'm sorry you're struggling. I hate to see former fighters end up like this. It's so sad and pathetic. But slandering me is only going to get you in trouble, dude. So keep my name out of your fucking mouth. Also, Edgar Berlanga. You stopped your press conference yesterday to mention my name. You said you're gonna slap me when you see me next. Why? Because I asked to see your Puerto Rican birth certificate? Because you're not really Puerto Rican? I'm asking because when I fought Trinidad, he had the entire island travel to Las Vegas to support him. Or are you upset because I said you're a subpar opponent for Canelo? These are the facts, bro. Don't let them get you rattled. Dude, you are not fighting me. You are distracted and better get locked in because Canelo's gonna tap that ass this weekend. Good luck and enjoy your first and last pay-per-view experience. On another note. Turkey coming into boxing is a breath of fresh air. It really is because all he wants to accomplish is making the best and the big fights happen. That's it. He wants to bring the big fights and, and make them happen. That's it. I mean, that's like, man, that's music to everybody's ears. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a blessing that he's, uh, he's involved. You know, I think someone who would disagree with you might be Canelo, right? Because okay. Canelo's having an issue with, yeah. uh, not an issue, he just, you know, said that he was... Hunt Working on the Berlanga fight, 100%, you know, but but he seemed kind of annoyed by Turkish, you know, he doesn't seem interested in, in Crawford, um, you know, they're kind of beefing. Turkish said that it's because he's taking easy fights since sure. Bilbo. Do, do you agree with that, and what do you think about their little beef? No, I mean, look, he, uh, Turkey makes perfect sense. I mean, if you take a look at uh, Canelo's fight against Bivol, where, again, he got schooled, like Mayweather, um, at a different division, Ever since that loss, he's been taking the easy road. And those are not the fights that the public wants to see. They're, they're just not. We don't want to see, you know, these types of fights that are going to take place with Berlanga. We want to see Benavides. What is wrong with fighting Benavides? I, I do not understand, as a fighter myself, I do not understand why you do not want to fight uh, uh, Benavides. It's mind-boggling to me. So, the Sheik wants to make the best fights, and Canelo wants to make the worst fights. And last one, uh, you mentioned Berlanga. That's up next. I've been asking people, one through ten, what's like the threat level Berlanga brings to to a Canelo in your opinion? Um, I I I would say a three. I would say a four. Look, he's a he's a he's a top prospect. You know, that's what he is. 
You know, he's not a contender. He's a top prospect. And would I've loved to see this fight maybe four, five, six da f fights down the road for him? Yes, absolutely, because he is a beast. But but um, this is a whole different level. And you know, he keeps claiming. He keeps claiming, and I've done my research. He keeps claiming that that he has a whole island behind him. He wasn't even born in Puerto Rico, you know, because I'm talking about this because the Mexico Puerto Rico rivalry, you know, Trinidad being from the island. Berlanga's from New York. Yeah, I think JLo's more Puerto Rican than he is. I think I'm more Puerto Rican than, than he is. I, I lived in the island for six years and I have two kids that are Puerto Rican. So it, it's not a knock, it's just that, come on guys, let's, let's be real.